Some witnesses are going to be taking the stand over the next couple of weeks. What would you tell people the highlights for what should we be looking for? Well, definitely Kevin Orr taking the stand is going to be going to be interesting. We've already seen in opening statements parts of his deposition played where he actually contradicts what other witnesses said in terms of what documents were prepared and how the city prepared the plan and prepared its case. So that one is definitely going to be, I guess, a showstopper if we can use that terminology for a court case. We also get Mayor Duggan and City Council President Brenda Jones who are expected to testify about the real feasibility of the plan. One of the issues is, is there buy-in from city leadership to execute a plan that was done by an emergency manager and an outside team of attorneys? Now, by all accounts, they're working closely with city officials, but the judge definitely wants to hear that leaders of the city will make the plan work going forward. When he looks and says, okay, this is a viable plan for, for the city, how much, I guess, leeway does he take for those moving parts for, well, it says that the city should be able to do X, Y, and Z in two years from now, right. but there could be some change to that. Well, some of it has got to be uh, about faith, right? I mean, he's got to have faith that, that the elected leadership uh, in the city and at the state level. I mean, uh, this idea that, that somehow Detroit will be set off on a lifeboat on its own uh, after bankruptcy is, I think, a, a, a little um, fantastic, too. The state has a role to play in funding the city. You know, uh, cities all over Michigan have the same problems uh, with, with the way that the revenue sharing has just sort of collapsed. Um, and, and then in the city, you need the mayor and the council to, to manage and do the things that they say they're going to do in this plan. Uh, but then you also need nothing to go wrong, right? Another another big dip in the in the national economy uh, could, could the housing affect market. the revenues, the housing market. Yeah. But one thing, Steve, I mean, Detroit's not going to be a ward of the state. I mean, the state is no, taking extraordinary measures over the last several months to get Detroit to the point where it can settle its bankruptcy and have a shot at a viable future. But if they're looking for this this ongoing lifeline well, to need, the city, to the state treasury, it's not going to happen. But you it? need reinvestment in some pretty critical areas. And the governor has been doing that in terms of law enforcement, bit. blight, yeah. lighting, other things. But Detroit can't is not going to be dependent on on the largest of the state because the state's got its own problems. And cities all over the state are facing similar circumstances. <laughs>